you give me another YouTube video. Today I'm reacting to The Boondocks Season 3, Episode 6, Smoking with Cigarettes. Full episode. Without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Because <laughs> I'm excited. Oh my gosh, not Granddaddy beating his ass, bruh. Not Granddaddy beating his ass. Be ass. He played too much. He deserved that. Like, what the hell are you doing? Smoke the cigarette. Oh God, please. You is such a vibe, like. Please. You don't see the Milton K. Sean. You don't even think about the Milton K. Sean. Do you understand me? I understand. I understand. I promise. Good. Now I want you to sit there and think about how stupid you are. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> that ain't hurt. The Milton K. Sean is not a typical eight-year-old. While most kids in his neighborhood were at home playing video games, he was leaving a path of destruction behind the wheel of an SUV he stole from his grandmother. And I came into the kitchen, and I saw my kids were gone. And I thought, oh, I can't believe Granddad wouldn't let me do no interviews. The Milton blowing up over this. I bet he get his own TV show. Ooh, I bet he do. The Milton, where are you going? I went and drove to pick up my friend. And he smokes with cigarettes. Once he picked up his friend, another unidentified eight-year-old, the two went on a nearly fatal rampage through the Woodcrest area. Lamilton, what about the people you could have hurt? 
I don't care nothing about those people. I wanted to do hood rat stuff with my friends. See, you have to understand, all children his age love stealing cars and going on high-speed chases. Now, LaMilton, why exactly did... Now, wait, wait, what? <laughs> Not the gra like the grandma's stupid, too. She Did you steal your bitch. grandmother's car? Because it's fun. It's fun to do bad things. Right. Don't you think that kid seems a little off? Off like how? Off like not quite normal. See, that's your problem. You want to be normal like everybody else. But see, me and LaMilton, we want to be different from normal. We want to be abnormal. We just do whatever, no matter what nobody say. I'm going to do what I want to do whenever, whatever. What? Shut the hell up before I come down there and beat you till you pee on yourself again. I do what I want to do. Coming! <laughs> damn it. Who is it? It's that damn crazy kid with some old woman. What do I do? I don't want that crazy little nigga in my house. Okay, Vic. I got to stall for a plan. Uh, who is it? It's LaMilton and his grandmother, Mr. Freeman. Shit, that didn't buy me no time. Just see what they want, Granddad. I don't care what they want. I don't want these crazy people in my life. Oh, this is so unfair. Why me? All right, one second. <sighs> I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Freeman, but I know it was your grandson smoking with cigarettes in the car with LaMilton, and I just thought he should come over here and apologize for putting Riley in danger like that. Oh, that's not really necessary. Can we leave now? Yes. No. Now get in that house right now and get ready to start uh, apologizing. Really, that's not... I don't even want this that to happen. Safe. LaMilton, I said get in that house! And I want to apologize to all of you for what I did. It was very wrong, and I am very sorry. I just would like to move on and lead a normal life. You know, get a job and a wife and change my ways. And I hope this apology impresses you, even though my grandmother made me do it, and I don't really mean it. You mean you do mean it. I mean, I do mean it. I don't think he means it. Look, Mr. Freeman, I just would hate for you to feel like you had to stop Riley and LaMilton from being friends because of this. <laughs> Please, Riley is the nicest boy LaMilton's ever been friends with. That kid's in more trouble than I thought. Well, I appreciate the apology, but... Please, Mr. Freeman, LaMilton is not a bad child, I swear. He's an A-B student. He helps me around the house. Most of the time, he's no problem. Mm-hmm. He just has some anger management issues, you know? Mm-hmm. And when he was... Granddaddy don't even give a fuck. <laughs> he don't care. He wants that one out the house. Get the fuck out. Oh, okay. All he ever saw was domestic abuse between his mother and his father, mm -hmm. his uncles, his aunties, his cousins. Mm -hmm. And I've just been trying to get him some help. And then when he was five, I remember his mother was drinking heavily at the and time. And his father had just been laid off from his job at Popeye. And there was a lot of tension and he in just the house. wanted to have a little fun. I mean, he's a little boy. And sometimes they're going to get in trouble. Okay, okay, fine. Fine, the boys can still be friends. But now, if you'd excuse me, we have some very important T-Bow to watch. Don't want to miss it. Thank you, and please, no need to ever come back again, ever. Cheers. So me and Lamilty can still be friends? Hell no. Ever catch around that fat fucker again, I'll change you to the bedpost. And I ain't playing with you. Lamilton Tayshawn is back in the news. Two weeks ago, he achieved nationwide fame for stealing a car at the tender age of eight. And now he's assaulted his grandmother at a local Wally Mart. According to witnesses, LaMilton asked his grandmother to buy him some fried chicken. When she refused, he got angry. Here he is assaulting his grandmother. Again, and again, and yet again. Then he stops, walks to the counter to order the chicken, then goes back to beat on his grandmother some more. LaMilton, did you hit your grandmother? Yeah, I beat her ass. But why? Because I asked for some fried chicken and she said no. What she expect? LaMilton's grandmother wants the public to give LaMilton another chance. The grandma, oh, please. She, she needs to go. She needs to be registered into a mental facility because she is not right in her mind. That is why that little boy is that way. Because she keeps looking for excuses for his behavior it's not normal what the fuck? you have to understand he really likes that fried chicken 
Hey, did you see me on TV? Hell yeah. Man, I really liked how you handled yourself on the news. You wasn't apologetic or nothing. I'm gonna be a famous superstar. I wanna be famous for doing bad things. Yeah, my granddad tried to tell me I couldn't hang out with you no more. But I was like, man, we do what we want to do. We got some juice. I don't ever listen to nobody. If somebody gives me good advice, I do the opposite thing. So what you want to do now? Let's have some more fun. Okay. Yo, you my nigga, don't never forget it. If you need it and I got it, oh. you it. you need it, I ain't got it, but we can go get it, cause you my dude. So it's whatever, I'm with it. Come on, yo. You my nigga. <laughs> more than fucking gangsters. What the fuck? How do you manage to be a fucking hey, extra bitch? Right late. All right, I hey. need to head home. I want to do more bad things. Nah, man, I'm out. I said I want to do more bad things. Come on. Yo, what's wrong with you, man? I said I'm through. I'm going home. Right. Man, I'm sorry. Look, we ain't got to do nothing else. Let's just go back to my house and watch movies. All right, fine. Is this the Freeman residence? Depends. You asking for money? No, I'm... Jehovah Witness. No. Police? No, sir. But there is an urgent matter I need to speak with you about. It's about your grandson. May I come in? Sure. My name is Dr. Dumas. I am a school counselor at Point Pleasant Elementary. I want you to know that LeMilton is no ordinary juvenile delinquent. He's something far, far worse. Far worse? How far worse? I first met LeMilton three years ago when he started kindergarten. I saw this five-year-old child with a blank, emotionless face and eyes that had absolutely no compassion in them, no conscience whatsoever. I spent the first year trying to help him and the last two years trying to have him locked away forever with no hope of release because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was not human. Oh, man, I knew it. I should have never listened to that old woman and her old bullshit-ass sob story. Now we have to kill him before he kill us. Exactly right. No, wait. What? Some people just gotta die. That's all I'm saying. So you want to kill him for something he might do? Well, you a doctor. If you say we should kill him for the sake of our own health, doesn't that mean we're allowed to kill him? I wish. They won't even lock him up. They want to wait until an innocent person gets hurt first. But it's only a matter of time. You must protect Riley. Well, I've already told Riley he can't be friends with the Milton. So that's that. He wouldn't dare believe that. No, Mr. Freeman. Riley is with La Milton as we speak. Yo, why you watch this stuff all the time? I like watching people get hurt. It looks fun to me. I want to hurt people. Whatever, nigga. It's getting late. Wait, I want to show you something. It's my grandmother's. Hold on. Hey, right. Check this out. Yo, yo, man. Watch where you point that thing. Oh. My grandmother has it in case of burglars. She told me never to touch it, so I'm touching it. Man, you need to be careful with that. Now we can do anything we want. We can take whatever we want, and we can hurt whoever we want. Let's go. Yo, you tripping. I'm going home. I said let's go. Something about Riley, he like, he ain't gonna do nothing to Riley. I just know that for a fact. Even if Riley left running, he ain't gonna shoot Riley. Because something about, her, like, he like Riley. I want that little psycho bastard out of our lives for good. That's that. Time for me to lay down the law. Hey, boy, listen up. You know what, Granddad? I've been hanging out with the Milton even though you told me not to, and I don't think I'm gonna do that no more. I just need to go to my room where I belong. No TV, no dinner, no nothing. I might even need to whoop myself. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Well, you better not break my belt. <gasps> Why are you fucking fat up, y'all? <laughs>
Where you been, Riley? Uh, I, I, I've been real busy. When are we gonna hang out again and do bad things? Well, my granddad won't let me, all right? He said we can't be friends no more. Well, I say we're still friends. Okay, but my granddad says we not. Well, I say we are. So come on. Whose house is this? It's Betty Von Housen. She an evil old white woman with a whole bunch of guns. Why? What you wanna do to it? Rob it. Take all her stuff. Rob it? Hell no! Nah. Stop being scared. Man, this is stupid. We both gonna go to jail for this. They can't send me to jail. I've been on TV. I'm a superstar. What was that? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> So ah, come here, boy. I got some for you. Yo, man, forget this. The milk you on your own. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, 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 we gotta go. Come on. <sighs> what mm. you shoot the dog for? Hey, he got loose. He was about to bite me. You lying. He was chained up. Man, you sick. I think you don't want to be friends no more. I think you're going to tell on me for shooting a dog. Man, I ain't no snitch. But you got problems, yo. Just stay away from me, man. Riley. Riley! LaMilton Tashawn was apprehended today for... What I told y'all. Ain't gonna shoot little Riley. He loves Riley, but he got problems. Shooting a Woodcrest residence dog. Yeah, boy, they got him. <laughs> they finally got him, boys. Come quick. <laughs> he shot Betty Von Housen's dog. Oh, I always hated that dog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Even though he's only eight years old, police decided to arrest LaMilton so they can get him into the system and get him the help he so desperately needs. He's in the system. Oh, how I love the system. Let's hope they keep his ass in the system forever. Woo! My tax dollars hard at work. Woo, that's some good news, good news. System, system, stay in the system. System, system, stay in the system. <laughs> You're wondering how they found out LaMilton shot that dog. I told them. But how did you know? I was following you and LaMilton. I saw what happened. I know he forced you to be there against your will. Well, why didn't you get a cop's show name? A year ago, LaMilton's grandmother filed a restraining order against me. Said I was obsessed, disturbed, icky. Oh, man. Now he gonna think I snitch. Don't you understand? He's in the system. He can't hurt you now. They're going to lock him away forever with no hope of release. And so we carried <sighs> one over here. And now we add one to seven and three. He's gonna run away. <laughs> Holy shit, look! Riley! He was just there, I swear! Riley Freeman, I have no patience for your potty mouth today. I'll see you in detention. <laughs> Mr. Freeman, I have terrible news. They've let him go. Who? La Milton? Yes! But I thought he was in the system! The fools let him go! He's out of the system? Oh, no! Huey, he's out of the system! Grab my shotgun! They said they didn't have enough evidence to hold him. Granddad, what's going on? The Milton Deshaun escaped. Go grab my pistol with the silver bullets. He's not a werewolf, Granddad. Shh, hush, little nigga. If Riley is home with you, don't let him out of your sight. Riley's not home. He's in detention. Meet me at the school right away. We must hurry. You have no idea what we're dealing with. Okay, let's go, Huey. Grab the wooden stake and my holy water. Yo, what the? What's up, Riley? What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Why you sneaking up on niggas? And what you doing here? You don't even go to this school. How come you told on me? Riley, I thought we was friends. Yo, I ain't telling you, man. And this ain't funny no more. Stay away from me, all right? I ain't playing with you. You crazy and you need help. Everybody says I'm crazy. But I don't care. I don't care about my grandmother. I don't care about that dog. And I don't even care about myself. And since we ain't crew no more, I don't even care about you. Okay, I right, chill, man. Look, I, I was tripping, all right? We, we still crew? Uh, let's go hang out like we used to. Really? You promise? Yeah, we, we'll do that. See, he used to care about Riley, but because he thinks Riley's sitting on him, that, um, yeah. 
he's trying to kill right now. Whatever you want. Okay. Cool. Two niggas killing each other. Proceed. Deserve to die. <gasps> he's gone. <laughs> oh, wait, he's right there. He's still alive? No, no. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> the spawn of Satan. I must destroy you. <laughs> Somebody call my family. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the fuck is wrong with that? Nigga? Well, that's that. I know Let's go is. home. <laughs> Yo, man, you got a cigarette? Well, damn, this episode was kind of uh, interesting. I don't know what the fuck that one man got. I don't know why he was obsessed about the little, the little fat boy, but this shit was fun, okay? Fun, 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 fun. I like that everything about this shit. For real Z. For the real Z. Okay. If you like this video, please don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe to this channel. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. You got some soft lips and some